good hello friends and welcome back to my channel so i know that this video this tag specifically is like ridiculously old but since i've only been on youtube for a year which um happy anniversary hello and thank you for 100 subscribers that is so wild to me that i've kind of finally hit this milestone with you guys and it's just super super exciting but again i've only been on youtube for a year and i've seen this obviously around so i really really wanted to do it so without further ado let's get into the books and makeup tag so so step one is primer. Pick a book that left a lasting impression on you. I don't always use a professional, but it's been something that I've been using recently and whatever. I don't really like primer, but does its job. But the book that I'm picking for this is Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. This is a book that I read probably, I want to say like my first sophomore year of high school so when I was like 15 and it was like one of those summer reading books and I was incredibly blown away by this book. I definitely need to do a reread because I haven't read this since then but like I can't stop thinking about it and it's just such a phenomenal I, I don't know it, it left such a lasting impression on me and every time I think about it it's heartbreaking but in the best way possible. Step two foundation your favorite book in a series. I actually don't wear foundation so I'm gonna skip this step but I am going to talk about Caraval by Stephanie Garber. If you guys know me you know that I absolutely adore this trilogy. Caraval is easily one of the most incredible books to start a series and like I don't know how Stephanie Garber did it. I fell head over heels with these characters and the series only got better from here. Step three, eyebrows. Pick a book that you think everyone should read. So I don't fill in my eyebrows because I obviously have a lot of brow but I am going to use this like Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volume. I don't know. It's just a little bit of color and it holds my eyebrows in place but I don't like using it that often. Kind of weird for me. I, go, I don't really touch my <gasps> see this is why I don't put stuff on my eyebrows because like things like this happen God. go ahead and fix that a little bit more I'm just gonna brush everything and put I gotta get my eyebrows done the book that I'm picking for this is Tuesdays with Maury's by Mitch Album this is a memoir to his professor and it on the cover it says an old man a young man and life's greatest lessons and i think this is easily one of the most impactful books that i have read i as soon as i finished this wrote a letter to my intro to social professor who's actually the person that made me kind of pick my major and i wrote him this letter saying how much i appreciated him and the style of his class and just since then i've written letters to faculty that have made a lasting impression on my academic career and so yeah this is a book that i think everyone one needs to read it is incredible so number four concealer pick some characters you wish didn't exist I'm going to start off by talking about the operat in the shadow and bone series I'm holding up rune and rising because I think he had the biggest impact in rune and rising but I think he is easily one of the worst characters ever and I hate him he has this like super foreboding sense of nature but um yeah he just kind of sucks and he makes Alina's life so much harder than it needs to be and in general he's just a terrible person like I don't I can't like talk and do my makeup at the same time apparently because this is a lot harder than I was expecting it to be and I don't think this color matches but yeah, I didn't like him, I thought he was annoying, and I could not believe that we were stuck with having to read about such an annoying character for as long as we did. Step 5 is powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me, the Matte and Poreless. I've been using this bad boy for like years, and I love it very much. But the book that I'm going to talk about is Obsidio, which is book 3 in the Illuminae Files. Do I love this series. If it wasn't for the fact that I want to keep my book kind of different, like I don't want to take up, talk about the same series, I would have picked Finale because oh my god was that a Finale and I had one of the best reading experiences because I ended up buddy reading that with one of my friends on Booksta, but it was just such an epic conclusion and like if you don't know about the Illuminae Files, one of the coolest series that I've ever gone through. Everything is in file format and Aiden is one of the best characters, even though he's not like a real person. He's an intelligence, an artificial intelligence character. And like just Aiden's scenes in this and like th these pages 
phenomenal. I, wow. So the next prompt is eyeshadow. Pick a book with your favorite colors on the cover. One of my favorite colors is royal blue. And so I would say this is fairly royal blue and it's got some silvery glassness to it. I love the color silver. So A Curse of Dark and Lonely. If you haven't seen, I recently finished A Curse of Dark and Lonely and I loved it. It was one of the coolest series I think that I have ever started. I hadn't read a ton of retellings. So for this to kind of swoop in and take over my heart was really cool. I fell in love with the characters really quickly and I immediately went to go get the loan on Libby, which is a library app, so that I could finally read book two with book three releasing if not this year, then next. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, also, I'm using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just gonna do this off camera because I can't focus. I don't know how like makeup artists do it, how they're just so like in the zone while doing their makeup, but that is just not me. So I did my eyes, kept it super simple, really only used these two colors and then popped some of the highlight in. But the next question is eyeliner, pick a dark and mysterious book. I don't wear eyeliner, but the book that I'm picking for this is actually my current read, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mendel. I'm not through the halfway mark just yet. I'll definitely tell you guys my thoughts about this book later. I have an entire video coming up with this. This is a lot darker than I was expecting, but it's also a lot lighter than I was expecting. Being around the midway point, I still have so many questions as to where this book is going, and there's a lot of like unsettling feelings, which is kind of fun but dark and mysterious for sure. Mascara, pick a long book. <laughs> His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. The combined edition. Uh, this is three books in one, and I believe it's just under a thousand pages. 929 pages total. I will read this. I bought this from my used bookstore. Super floppy, very, very exciting. Want to get to this very badly. And the mascara that I will be using is the Tartist, the Tarte by the Tartist by Tarte. It's not my favorite mascara ever. I'm very particular about my mascaras. I did like, what was it? It was a Maybelline one, I think, in a pink tube or a L'Oreal one in a pink tube. I'll put a picture right here. That was my favorite mascara for so long. And after I ran out of it, I had a couple of like random tubes that I need to finish. I think I'll end up rebuying that real soon. And I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to make the face, even though obviously I just made it. Whatever, we're gonna go makeup. The, the instant I swear by mascara you can't get me to not wear mascara and like if i'm doing a no makeup makeup look and i'm just kind of going around doing errands and not doing like a full face you won't catch me leave the house without mascara on if i decide to put makeup on that day you know it's like i can live without doing my makeup and sometimes i kind of uh prefer it it's just a lot easier and if i sweat it just my skin likes me a lot better for the fact but yeah mascara is an all-time favorite i'm very lucky to have a lot of lash so instant boost wow okay so there's no bronzer prompt in this so i'm going to combine blush and bronzer blush is pick a book with a cringeworthy romance and i have to say with Stephanie Meyer coming out with Midnight Sun, the Twilight series takes the cake with the most cringy romance, especially in book one. I think when we get to Breaking Dawn and you know, Bella's not, well, Bella, there's a lot of really goodness that comes out of their relationship. And quite frankly, I like them so much more after the fact, but Edward and Bella saga Twilight are so freaking cringy. We're almost done. So the next prompt is highlighter. Pick a book that brightens your day. For this, I'm going to be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And the book that brightens my day is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Every time I think about this book, I always get the dumbest smile on my face. There isn't anything in the world that can change that. I love this book with my entire heart. It is one of my favorite hate to love romances. It's a co-worker's romance. It's literally everything I could have asked for in a book. I haven't reread it in a really long time. So I think I'm going to add this to my TBR next month and you guys know I do my wheel of TBRs now and so I'm really 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 hoping that one of the spins will lead to this because I want to read this so bad. And finally lipstick, your favorite book kiss. Now for some reason I couldn't think of a favorite book kiss to save my life. I'm using the Urban Decay lipstick in, in Carnal. It's a comfort matte. Okay hold on, can't talk while doing this. 
This is a lot more pink than I remember. Holy crap. This might not be the lip color I stay with. This is definitely not the lip color that I stay with. Okay. Okay, I'm back with bare lips. I'm going to be using the Maybelline. What are these called? I don't know. I don't know. It's the Maybelline lipstick in raw chocolate. This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. So much better. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I am going to give this to the first kiss that we see between Jude and Cardin in the Cruel Prince series. I can't remember if it's in book one or book two. I think it's in book two, but one of my favorite kisses because it's one of those things where finally they stop being angry for each other for like two seconds. And you guys saw, I just posted a video reviewing the entire series and they are so annoying. That is it for the books and makeup tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I'll talk to you on Instagram. Yeah.